Test I equipped on. Okay. So if we're going to be looking at this, guys, again, I like to use the I like to use the graph, but again, you don't really need to look at the graph. If I'm trying to evaluate for f of 0, which function has the domain for less than, for 0? You, you want to look at the domains. Which domain has 0? Bottom one. Which function is that? The negative x minus 1. And does that make sense? Is this graph the one that's at 0? Yes. At 0, we have this point. So you plug 0 in for there. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Absolute value of negative 1 is 1. 1 times, there, uh, one times negative 1 is negative 1. f of 1. Which function deals with 1? Well, this is greater than 1, this is less than or equal to. So it's going to be this one. 1 minus 1 is 0, absolute value is 0, 0. 0 times negative 1 is 0. f of 2. Which function is dealing with the number 2? Well, it's this function, right? Because x is 2 is greater than 1, right? 2 is greater than 1. 2 is not less than or equal to 1. Since 2 is greater than 1, you're going to use this one. 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 squared is 1. There you go. So make sure, guys, I'm going to tell you, people are going to get this wrong. It happens every year. It's usually people that are not paying attention, usually kids that weren't in class, um, or kids.